Hello guys, welcome to a new video of Bitcoin Edge. Today we'll take another look at the charts and uh, see what's up. Uh, make sure to follow me on uh, YouTube, make sure to follow me on Twitter. And uh, yeah, let's begin. The chart we ended with yesterday, uh, we had a test of support today. Um, I'm on a daily chart on Bitstamp and um, yeah, my target remains at 10.5k. You see that line comes from here. The China pump earlier on. Um, and yeah, this is my target. We had a nice test of support, as I said. Um, well, yeah, let's take a look. Funding on Bitmax is still flat. Uh, I always use Bitmax since uh, it's a, it has a big share in open interest. Um, premium on futures is still really low, if you ask me. It's just a $30 premium on the September futures. And um, well, this is weird. June futures have a higher premium than the September futures. That's weird. That I haven't seen before. You can see that over here as well. Yeah, this is the Bitmax chart. And as you can see, September has, um, uh, oh, sorry, June has a, a, a higher um, price than September futures. That, that's weird. Like normally you can see, um, uh, like for example, with, with this one, Deribit has, um, yeah, you see the chart, it runs up, the premiums run up, um, yeah, with the closing dates, as well as with OKX futures, for example, and yeah, Bitmax futures turn down uh, the premium. That's that's weird, haven't seen it before. Um, so yeah, it's, it's still a very slight premium. Other times we were at, at 10k, for example, we had more than $400 premium. Uh, on, on the tops, it can be more than 10% premium. Last uh, summer, uh, we saw like more than a $1,000 premium on the futures. And uh, in 2017, we saw more than $2,000 premiums on the BitMEX, uh, or sorry, on uh, OKX futures. So the price of Bitcoin was 20k and uh, the OKX futures were at 22k. Um, we see not really a premium on Bitfinex versus uh, uh, Bitstamp, sorry, I have the wrong one over here. I want to see Coinbase, Bitfinex, Coinbase. And yeah, we see a slight premium over um, Bitfinex, actually. That's quite bearish most of the times. Um, so yeah, we're at the daily chart. I'm going to redraw this line. Let's see where we are at. Oh, wrong one. Let's see where we're at. So yeah, it looks like we had a, a test today of that line as well. Um, yeah, let's zoom out a bit, remove the lines. Zoom out a bit. How is the weekly looking? These are my biggest lines. I'm nearly always drawing them in every video since I love them. And yeah, what do we see? You can always draw them differently depending on what you want to see. But this is how I like them. Touching this top over here. We can also draw them from here on off. That way we are over it. Yeah, it's not much I'm seeing actually. It's not much happening. We can better switch to the lower time frames. If we are breaking out of this one, it's party time for real. New bull run is, is beginning then. And yeah, these are the next levels to break then. For me, after 10.5k, remove drawings. Let's go to the hourly chart. We are right. At this support, as you can see, 9.5k. Right on that one. We see trend line over here. But we also see, what do we see more. If I miss things, you guys can always let me know. We see this one as well. 9.2k 
as you can see, touch it over here. We touched it over here a lot and over here. And also, I think we touched it over here. So that's an important line. And next up for me is this line. Of course, after this one. So we need to keep this line 9.2k. And my target still is at uh, 10k. Uh, sorry, 10.5k. We will put one of these down. Ten and a half K is my target. Oh, these are the lines we are watching. So yeah, we do not want to see a break of, 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 of this line. I don't want to see it go under 9.2 K anymore. Uh, then I'm out. And after that, I think we have this one. So yeah, my stop is below here, and uh, my target is nine. Uh, uh, sorry, ten point five k. Not really a lot going on. Slight discount on Coinbase, which is kind of bearish to me, but it's not a lot. It's still kind of neutral to me. Just like funding is neutral to me. Um, yeah, like I said, kind of weird seeing a premium on June futures compared to September futures. It's gone now, by the way. Um, yeah, not, not much to say of it. Um, I'm not sure. What, what time frames do you guys like to draw on? Please let me know in the comments. I like to keep the time frames a bit higher for clarity. Maybe... I missed some lines, you can always let me know on Twitter or in the comments. Um, but this is how I like to draw myself and see things. We can put this over there. Like I said, we do not want to break this one and we want to go to 10.5k. Let's take a look at Ethereum BTC. We've looked at this chart many times before. Two year trend line, very important, and we want to hold this line. You want to hold it because after, yeah, if you break that one, yeah, I'm, I don't know, I'm sad. I am very sad. It's so steep, should bounce soon. We're at the daily chart. Yeah, this line needs to hold. Let's go to Ethereum. Ethereum USD. Do we see? Wait. I want to remove, remove everything. Remove drawings. What can we see over here? This line we see. And we see. Ooh. What else do we see? Let's get a horizontal line in there. Yeah. I don't know. This would be a bearish thing. Broke out of the... Sorry. Rising channel, grab this one as well, something like that, um, and yeah, this can be bearish, we can do something like this, and down, but yeah, not that. Not that good looking. I'm at, at the daily chart, big chart. We can zoom in a bit more. Lines don't always fit perfectly. 
when you are zooming in, if you've been drawing on a higher time frame as you can see. But yeah, ideally we want to break the trend line. So that we want to break this one. $200 and $50, $215. So yeah, that's where we are at right now. Right now we are on an important uh, price level as well. You see the price acting on it over here and over here and over here as well as over here. Yeah, I'm not so sure. I wouldn't take a trade on this um, just because this looks not that nice either. Um, yeah, I'm staying with this trade. Staying with this trade. Stop below 2, uh, sorry, 9.2k. And uh, target 10.5k. Um, I will be only covering news in my videos when there is big news or news which is important. There's a lot of little news events every day. And um, yeah, I will only be covering them if, if it has a big impact or anything. So um, yeah, if you miss anything in my videos, please let me know. If you have suggestions, uh, want to add something. Um, yeah, feedback is always welcome, guys. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. And uh, yeah, please uh, subscribe and put the notification buttons on. Bye, guys.